Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today we are going to talk about it, the uh, this one. So we're going to um, so we need to create some groove groove lines on this ramp. Um, okay, void. Um, yeah, I think uh, the issue. Yep. So, so you can see because uh, when when the ramp when the curve um, curved ramp the the surface not um, flat anymore and then uh, it will create a lot of issue if uh, if we use uh, a void um, family um, and also uh, let's have a look so this is the family um, it okay so it looks like these are individual um, family and then this can be very time consuming um, I think um, I, I don't think it's a good idea to to use a void family to create this uh, actual you know um, um, <laughs> I mean model because they are relative relative to the size of this uh, ramp they are very s small right so when you uh, you know go to a floor plan so they're basically just lines um, if I turn on the so one to 100 so yeah so if if you probably just use line instead so it's a I think it's a better way of doing this um, okay so let's find out so now no, here so you can see that issue um, I think we can probably um, instead of use void, uh, we can use a model line. But of course, we are not going to, you know, mo uh, draw draw these draw those li lines ourselves because it will be very uh, time consuming. So um, we can we can do it. Um, how about we use? Um, adaptive family with a uh, model lines in it okay so let's try um, okay so first uh, I'm going to create a new family with generic model adaptive okay so in this family so we need two adaptive points okay so and then make them adaptive adaptive and then we're going to create a line and make it reference line and then we're going to place a a point use draw on face and uh, on this midpoint okay and then we are going to um, um, we're going to have a ang angle angular parameter so um, so let's just create this one I'll just call it a angular a for angle <laughs> okay and then place another point use draw on word plan set word plan and pick the vertical word plan so not this one so tab this one and place it on this point so you should see this warning okay so click OK and then let's uh, select this point and let's offset it okay so you can see this offset uh, let's create a parameter for this offset instance and OK and OK so now we can connect this point and this one so select these two points and make, make a, a sp spline through, through points and just uh, um, just do, do not check this box so make it a model line so it, it will be visible okay so and then do another one so okay so this is basically one one of those uh groove groove long lines and then we can load this one so let's load this one into here okay <laughs> so there's family one already there that's fine so we just need to uh, save as a different name so I just call it okay <laughs> and then load this one into the project okay so then uh, let's just cancel this for now so I'm going to uh, do it in 3d view and then 
uh, let me just select all of these or delete all these uh, void um, so if I place it like from that from there to here okay so it looks like the direction is not right let's go you know okay so we, we probably need to rotate it by uh, 90 degree okay maybe negative 90 degree and also depending on the uh, uh, looks like it's it's about right so it's actually it's p picking the the slope of this ramp oh hell is this right so this is ah uh, yeah I think that's okay anyway so yeah so this is one of them so uh, but we are not going to place them you know ourselves and then uh, we need or, or like a copy or array this is not how um, adaptive family works so let's delete this we're going to create a model in place mass okay so click OK and then we're going to um, we need to place a line on this edge so let's uh, let me just think um, use a reference line and we're going to uh, <laughs> not sure which one let's try I'll pick we need to pick the edge um, let me think maybe 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 I'll use draw on face okay so you draw on face set to a plan so on so because this is a surface right so we can just pick this edge no problem okay so we have one reference now here and then we can pick another one there so we have another one here so let me just type tl see if i can uh it's done it doesn't work tl uh, tl doesn't work so try to maybe change the scale so make these lines a little bit thicker uh no nah, don't work that's what fine i'll type wf maybe so yeah wireframe so you can see this reference line okay and then we need another one here so this one's a little bit tricky because we can't really pick uh, this edge to create we can't create a, a, a line or a spline uh, by picking this edge um, we but we can just draw a reference line uh, I'm going to use spline through points and then use uh, let me think use draw on face okay so draw on face uh, follow surface maybe we can try that one so let's try that one uh, try that one oh actually yeah it works so maybe we can just use uh, this one line instead of sprouts points and with that follow ah oh, we don't have that follow <laughs> sorry about that yeah don't work so we can see it's doesn't work so maybe spline through points with follow face click here and here yeah so we can create a line that perfect follow this surface perfectly okay and then we can do another one so reference spline through points follow surface and pick this point try to maybe i'll use se to pick you know tab you can switch use the tab key to pick that point and se again snap endpoint and click and escape so now yeah perfect right so the next step is from these two we're going to use divided surface oh sorry divided path okay and then uh, we can just uh, type in a number so for example make 20 okay and also uh, it's good to um, Oh, actually I'll just leave it um, uh, let's try these two so I'll we we'll also use divided path uh, maybe to make 20 as well okay so now we have all these nodes we can start to place that adaptive family so let's place one so from here to here yeah so it looks like we need to um, rotate this one negative 90 uh, maybe 90 okay so and then let's try repeat okay so looks like we have some issue here so I'll explain why this is happening and um, control there at first and maybe just delete this one select this uh, divided path 
and go here so you can see let's just show notes number okay so now you can see this is number one this is number 20. let's try this show notes number so this is one this is 20. so we should uh, just flip one of them so let's just do this flip direction so now both of them are uh, starting from this end okay and then we can just create a component so we can we can we can place on any of this as long as uh, the number the number of the nodes is the same so for example this is number five i believe yeah so in the sense select it try 90 degree and click on repeat and then we have this and of course if you want more you can just type in a bigger number so right and then we can do it do the same on here um, maybe we can just increase the number to 30 and also show nodes okay and then let's select one of them so start from here select this one start from here as well so which is great great correct so now we just need to uh, place one from here to here and to uh, okay because we use um oh looks like this one uh it's quite interesting this one's uh we we don't need to ro rotate but we might still need to you can see because it is this one's horizontal it's not following the uh slope uh not like uh this one so this these these are following the slope of the ramp probably because um because 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 uh, there's a like slope for these refer uh, reference lines but for these reference lines we couldn't uh, figure out uh, what the slope is okay so let's just select this one and click on repeat and we have all these now let's try oh hell looks like we have one extra here uh, this one that's fine we can tap select it and delete it okay so now let's try uh so we probably have some issue here maybe we could just need to yeah we can delete them if we want to so we just tab and delete okay so um and maybe we can increase the number as well so it looks like uh maybe just 35 for example okay so uh looks like we need to uh bring these back uh actually i'm not sure how to so you can see this we're missing one so do you know how to uh bring this one back i'm not quite sure so i would just you know place it <laughs> yeah but anyway so uh maybe you need to delete one of this again uh don't work tab select delete yeah and are uh, missing these uh that's fine i'll delete some of these okay so this is how it works and let's try to uh, change the shade now you can see these are so it's 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 uh hidden by the ramp so what we need to do is t try to select one uh try to select one let's try to tab tab maybe change it to wireframe it's easier to pick tab select and here so maybe just type in a number to so just rotate it slightly so so it's above the ramp okay so type hl or sd yeah that's that's all good oh we're missing one here oh so i think this one's uh, the one i just uh, manually placed so just need to give it an <laughs> angle as well and yeah so this is it so this is our um how i would uh do um if i need to create something like this i won't use void because uh that's um not uh a lot of time it won't work yeah it looks like there's still th this bit is still a bit uh uh the level in this part is still a, a little bit high maybe we still need to rotate a little bit more so i think let's try select so if type 4 yeah that's better so still here not this not this one oh 
what's going on. So it looks like uh, when I try to pick this one, it's picking that one. So let's have a look in edit family. Um, maybe what uh, we can do is select this one and um, select select this one, so this reference line, and just change this one to not a reference. And try again, overwrite. And now, yeah, so now, now that's better. Now it's it's better. It won't, you won't uh, accidentally pick a line here when your cursor's over here. It's here. Right? Great. This one needs before. Uh, what's this? Uh, because uh, okay, so this the uh, this one's following uh, this slope, but at this point it changed. So that's why I think that's that's okay. Even we can just give it a little bit. Oh, not this one. <laughs> uh no, no. Yeah, it's quite funny. So it's just go flip around. Anyway, so I'll just leave it. Um, and then finish mass and then. Okay, so also these nodes, um, I don't think it's a big problem, but if you do not like them, you can. One method is you can go into this, uh, select this divided path, and go here, path uh, representation, and turn off the nodes. Okay, so this is one method. So now you can see we can turn off, or you can just type VV on the site, oh, sorry, on the mass. <laughs> okay. You need to check this box first and uncheck the notes. Click OK. Um, doesn't work. <laughs> uh, let me think. Okay, so maybe it's because here. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. So let's go to 3D view. Okay, so this is how I will do. And. Um, let me know what you th think, and if you have a better method, please let me know as well. Okay, so that's it for today. If you, oh, I've already said that. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.